Hello everyone, Satorn here giving you the top three military techs that I would choose early. It's a tough one. Uh, some of these you definitely do need a lot of resources a lot of times early game. And I'll probably have this in another video. It's almost better to have someone else fight for you rather than you fighting, especially if you're small. But if you're already a big nation, then definitely these are the ones I would make sure you pick if you don't have them already. So let's get into it. My first pick for military will really depend on your nation. We're a small one in this example. We're 143 in the world. We don't have artillery yet, so that would be my first choice. If you already have artillery, then I'd go line infantry. Let me show you why. So under here, you can see when we go for a regular infantry, we're at plus 10 offense and plus 15 defense. So if we go for cannons, let's say, and we do the cannon artillery, we're going to get a plus 10 offense and a plus 10 defense, which is really good, right? So that's uh, almost double, well, double in offense and almost double in defense. And the price isn't too bad. It's 857 uh, pounds for substitution. And uh, you'll get morale damage and kill rate on top of all that. So it's actually really, really good. But if you already have cannons, then the next, I would say, is number one would definitely be line infantry. So what this does is your offense and defense get doubled. And you get your training rate is the same, but your army projection, power projection is huge. It goes from 14 to 42. It does uh, cost some small arms. So that could be tough if you're a small nation. But if you're not, definitely this is the way to go. And I would go line infantry number one. For number two, military, I would choose Screw Frigate if you can afford it. Reinforced ships is great because this is another production method where you can get a ton of clippers, but it costs engines as well as hardwood. So early game is really not feasible for a lot of nations, but if you can, this is very good. So most likely, Power of the Purse is the one that you're going to have to choose as your number two. And what you get here is another production method called Power of the Purse, which is really nice. You get plus five offense and defense, and you get plus 10% morale damage, morale damage protection. But that's not really the big part is this training rate, the plus 3.5. So if you're watching one of my playthroughs, you'll see that getting your Navy and training it up takes a very long time. So this is great. It's at a cost of you're going to have more officers rather than servicemen. So it's going to cost a little bit more money depending on your naval bases, but it's well worth it. And the number three tech, general staff is very good. Don't get me wrong. And skirmish infantry is amazing. It does a lot more offensive and defensive damage. Uh, and the power projection is very nice. But you need ammunition. And again, that's definitely hard to pull off on some nations, especially in the beginning and early game. So I'm thinking what is better, uh, again, is a little bit farther down the tree, is triage. Uh, so this unlocks for your barracks uh, first aid as well as first aid for your conscription centers. This is really good. So first aid, what it does is uh, normally you have a 25% recovery rate. This doubles it to 50%. And why is recovery rate so good? Well, what it does is you can see here a percentage of the casualties a military unit takes uh, that survive in some cases become dependents. But what this does is pretty much increases the chance of, you know, you'll see uh, definitely in your battles, you'll have a lot more casualties than deaths. But what this will do is give a chance for those casualties to come back and actually be, you know, uh, a pop that's actually useful. They could come back into the military or wherever they're used. Sometimes they'll come back as dependents, which is not the best, but this uh, increases the chance of them not, just not dying straight out. So I think this is definitely really worth it, especially if you got a small population. This is, this is, could be really big. I hope you found this video useful. I know there's not too many military techs to choose from, so it's a little bit easier uh, than the other categories such as production and society. But these are ones that I would go for definitely early game if you don't have them already. Hit that like, subscribe, notification button. They're free. And as always, for the swarm.